All right, guys, so you want to make the transition into futures, but you also like trading currencies. Well, don't worry. Today, I'm going to explain to you guys how you can still trade currencies, but just on the futures markets. I get a question a lot that you want to make the transition into futures. You maybe don't know how to do it, or you don't know what instruments you can trade. We're going to break it all down in this video. And even if you like to trade such as pound yen, I'm going to show you guys how to do that on the futures exchange. All right, guys, so I've been making the transition from FX for five years to now futures for the past two years, and I've picked up a lot on the way and had a lot of my own questions that I couldn't really find answers for, and hopefully I can give them forward to you guys because you guys ask some amazing questions on stream, and I want to be able to help you guys make that transition as smooth as possible because I think once you move to futures, life is going to be a lot better and a lot easier. I'm going to run over how you trade the futures currencies and the benefits of trading futures versus FX. So let's jump straight in. So if we have a look at top step here, these are all the instruments that you guys can trade on top step. You can trade the Australian dollar, the pound, the Canadian dollar, crude oil, the Dow, gold, euro, Japanese yen. You can even trade the micros. You can trade New Zealand dollar, Swiss franc, Mexican peso if you really want to as well. So you can still trade all of these Forex currencies that you maybe usually trade. For instance here, the ticker symbol 6A, which is the Australian dollar. So if you'd like to trade AUD USD, the Australian dollar is going to be the exact same thing. Exactly the same as if you like trading Euro USD, which is awesome. You can trade the Euro futures, which if we take a look at the charts side by side, you guys can see these are absolutely identical. The only thing that's different here is obviously the FX never closes, whereas the futures exchange actually closes uh, from 9 p.m. London time until 11 p.m. London time, whereas you can see the FX side here is still moving. So from a technical perspective, nothing's going to change for you. If you guys already have a pretty good detailed plan and you're doing very well already trading Forex, but maybe you want to make the futures but don't want to leave them behind, you can still trade FX currencies just on the futures exchange. And with futures, you're going to have better opportunities to take advantage of some tools that you just simply don't get in the foreign exchanges markets because the brokers do not offer it. For instance, if you want to trade Euro futures, you can have a look at something like Bookmap, order flow, see real orders coming in and out of the markets. You're not going to have to worry about my broker may up my spreads and you know all of a sudden I may get spiked out for no reason. That doesn't happen. It doesn't exist in the futures market. It's impossible. You can see real orders coming in and out of the markets that if you trade Euro USD on a CFD broker, you are never going to see that. So technicals, as long as you have a detailed plan down, you guys can see here the hourly chart here. This is Euro USD and this is the Euro futures you can see the chart is identical, the exact same. And that's what's so amazing and so surprising to some people about it is there is almost a zero benefit to you trading FX. And I think maybe a lot of people who watch this channel do trade FX. I want to help you guys make the transition. Now, what about if we take a look at the list again of what we can actually trade on top step? What about if we want to trade pound US dollar or you want to trade AUD, JPY, well, how would you do that on futures? Because obviously that that futures doesn't exist. All of these ones here are, you know, Australian dollar, Canadian dollar, Euro dollar. And then what about if you guys want to trade an instrument such as pound yen? Because if we have a look at the top step section, we can see there's obviously no futures to trade pound yen. And I know a lot of you guys who come from the FX world who watch the YouTube videos do like to actually trade that pair. Well, if we take a look here at pound yen, you know, anytime pound yen is going to have a push up or down, for this example, we've had a push down, it's going to be because the yen's getting stronger and typically the pound is going to be getting weaker. So if we have a look here, you've got pound futures and the yen futures down here. If you guys just come onto your charts and just type in 6B, that will give you pound futures and type in 6J and that's going to give you the yen futures as well. So if we take a look at this drop here on pound yen on Wednesday, the 6th of December, and we take a look at the exact same charts down here, Wednesday, the 6th of December, we can see the pound is getting weaker. And what's the yen going to be doing? The yen is going to be getting stronger. So essentially, you could be taking whichever setup that you think is the most cleanest. In my opinion, this is why it's good to have both charts down there because you can kind of analyze both. In my opinion, you know, the yen futures were very, very clean. You had a very nice trend line breakout and pushed higher. So if you wanted to catch this short on pound yen on futures, you would be looking to buy the yen futures, which in in turn would give that pound yen that push down and which would also give that pound to also get weaker. So the yen's getting stronger and the pound's getting weaker if pound yen is going to push down. I say pound yen, I mean pound uh, GBP, JPY. 
and that's exactly how you would do it. So if exactly the same as if you guys maybe like to trade a pair such as AUD, as a random example, AUD New Zealand dollar. Let's say you guys like to trade this pair for whatever reason. You like to trade this pair maybe on the 13th, Wednesday the 13th, you were looking for longs. Well, let's have a look. Let's get up here the Australian dollar futures and let's get down here the New Zealand dollar futures. And we'll go back to the 12th of December. Let's have a look at it here, 12th of December. Look at that, lovely, big spike, spike, we got the highs, push down. And let's have a look at the 12th of December as well, right here. And this is an interesting one where, you know, both have actually, again, pushed down. So the Australian dollars got weaker and the New Zealand dollars got weaker. However, AUDNZD has pushed up. So in this scenario, although they're both looking incredibly weak, you can see here the Australian dollar is trading around 0.66, whereas the New Zealand dollar, as it's getting weaker, is trading at less of a price than the Australian dollar. So all in all, even though they're both weak, the reason you see AUD NZD go up is because the Australian dollar is still stronger than the New Zealand dollar. So if you ever come on the charts and you're trying to buy AUD NZD, but they're both looking weaker, then maybe that's one you just wanna wait on and you wanna wait for this volume to come in and these pushes to come in to be able to catch this next move up, which came on around, what, Wednesday the 13th, which is, yeah, right right around here is where you started to see that push up. So you kind of want to look at whichever setup is looking the cleanest, but any instrument that you want to trade in the FX world that you like to trade, you can trade the futures of that currency. And the good thing about trading AUD USD or Euro USD or New Zealand dollar USD is they're going to be the exact same. So if you like to trade NZD USD because you've traded that pair for a while, you like the way it moves, it moves in your time zone. Well, if we take a look here and let's put the two back to back like this. So you've got the new NZD USD, we type in here, New Zealand dollar futures 6N, and we will scroll to the exact same time. Anytime it's related to a US dollar pair, it's always gonna be the exact same because the futures, this is New Zealand dollar, NZD USD, New Zealand dollar. So it's the exact same thing. So it's gonna make your life a lot easier. Now, we'll talk about the benefits. That's how you trade the currencies. The benefits, in my opinion, of trading futures over Forex is one, the technical is the exact same. Amazing, you don't have to change anything in that sense. Number two, you don't have to worry about manipulation and increase of spreads from your broker. It's not gonna happen in futures. Anytime you don't get an amazing fill, in futures, which does happen, is simply because there's not enough liquidity in the markets. And if there's not enough liquidity in the markets, you can take advantage of futures tools that allow you to do that. Taking a look at something such as Bookmap is very, very insightful. And the fact that I can look on the futures exchange on any instrument and see real orders coming in and out of the markets, which you cannot do on the FX side, is an absolute game changer in itself. So if you trade FX, you run the risk of getting manipulated by your broker. Futures is a whole bigger world of much more regulation. And the price that you trade here on NZDUSD, this is the price coming from FXCM. So when you type in NZDUSD, these are just brokers that can literally give you any price. And if you sometimes come on the charts, and if you see, which you'll see very often, if you see a currency pair has had a massive spike up and a spike down and you look on Oanda, for example, and it hasn't happened. That's literally because that's the broker manipulating that price. And if you have a look on the futures, that will never happen. You will literally never get that type of manipulation unless them orders actually came in and out of the markets. So that in itself is more than enough for you to want to leave FX behind and jump straight into futures. You can trade the exact same instruments. You have amazing funding opportunities with Top Step and the technicals don't change. Adapt to the platforms, doesn't take too long, and you're gonna have all in all a much better journey and career, in my opinion, in this game. Now, if you guys have any questions about maybe other instruments that you're not sure how you trade them, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I'll answer all of your guys' questions, and I hope to see you guys on the live streams next week, 7 a.m. till 9 a.m. London time. See you there. Peace.